Discord issues, crackling issues on Windows 10. Let's go ahead and fix them forever. All right, guys, there's a couple ways that we can do this. So the way I'm going to go with this particular tutorial, we're going to go from the temporary fixes all the way to the automated fix, right? The automated fix is the one I'm currently using, and this is the one that I definitely want to share with you. Uh, so hang tight. You'll see the process of why I am not using uh, the temporary ones, but I definitely want to share uh, the different ways you can do this. The first way you can do that uh, in terms of uh, fixing the issues, uh, you can do uh, the Windows update pause, right? I noticed that when I pause the Windows updates, or even if I uninstall, uh, since I have a 64-bit system, if I uninstall a 32-bit Windows updates, that typically fixes my challenges. So one way we can uh, pause the update is by going to Windows updates, right? And then you pause the update here. So that's the first way. Uh, second way is by disabling Windows updates uh, for a long time. Okay, so that's temporary. It doesn't fix every single challenge, but you can get some good days with this particular option. And the way you do that is by holding uh, Windows and pressing R and then typing in services MS dot MSC, right? Hit OK. And then when th once that pops up, uh, you want to sort it by name. Uh, scroll down all the way to Windows Update. Right click on that. Go to Properties. And then the startup type, you can disable that. OK, so that's the second way uh, in terms of temporarily fixing your crackling issues, discord issues and things like that. Right. The next way we have on the list is to modify a file that's called audio dg.exe. Now, this is the pain that we've had for a very, very long time. Now, it is not a virus on your system. It is an essential Windows file. And we're going to talk about this file right now. OK, so now what is it? OK, so there's an article on How To Geek that talks about it. Uh, but there's only one section I really want to stress here for this particular thing. It says right here, the process serves as a primary audio engine in Windows 10. It handles digital signal processing. OK, very important, including the advanced audio enhancement effects provided by Windows. OK, so now we need to figure out how to modify this file and give it priority. So what happens is if that file doesn't have priority, whatever it needs on the system at the time, OK, it has issues and those issues translate into the crackling issues that we have. So a temporary fix again. This is the third fix because we're number three now. So the third fix is to actually modify the file. OK, so the way you do that is you do task manager. OK, you run as administrator and then you look for the file audio dg.exe okay once you file once you find it right so typically once this opens up it's probably going to be in the process screen so you want to go to the details tab okay once you head over there you're going to most likely find it hanging up top if it's not sorted by name so you can find it right then what you want to do there is you want to right click here OK, and then you want to go to priority. You want to set it to high. OK, and then from there for a set affinity, you want to deselect every core and you want to pick at least one core here. OK, so you could pick either three, four, two, just pick one. OK, and hit OK. And that's a temporary fix that will fix your crackling issues, discord issues and things like that. Now, I don't like temporary fixes, OK? So since we know that this is the culprit of our challenges, we need to find a permanent fix for that. OK, so this is what we do. OK, so we go to our web browser and we go to bitsum.com. OK, and this is the application that we're looking for. This is our saving grace here. Uh, process Lasso, OK, is our saving grace. It's a real time CPU optimization tool and automation tool. So everything that we did or we talked about in the first three examples, process lasso does it automatically for us. OK, so what you want to do here is you want to download that and you want to install it. OK, as you're installing it, 
it's going to have pre selected um, items just and on the bottom is going to say something like confused just hit next okay i didn't touch any of the settings i just hit next until it finished installing uh the program okay now once the program is done installing it's going to look something like this this is what we want okay now once we get here what we're going to do a couple of things here but this is this is the program that's going to save us all the trouble and headaches that we've been having for a very very long time okay so once you get here this is uh it's going to show you all the programs all the system processes that are running okay and of course um our culprit here is audio dg.exe now you could right click and make changes to it here but we're not going to do that yet okay the first thing that we're going to do here is we want to create a profile for us so Whenever our system turns on, it applies the changes that we've made to the specific processes that we're trying to make adjustments to, okay? So I made a profile for me called Andrew, okay? It's my name. And then from there, you know, finding this culprit, audiodg.exe, and I made a couple of changes here. So right-click on it, okay? Priority class, always, I have it set to high, all right? Uh, the CPU affinity, it's a current. I left this just the way it is because this program is optimizing everything real time for you. So I didn't make any changes here. All right. But the application power profile, I changed it to the bit sum highest performance. Okay. You can do that for each process. So for this one, because this is the main uh, audio processing tool on Windows 10. I wanted it to have the highest performance per process. Okay. So I did bit some highest process here. Okay. And then since I'm using voice meter for pretty much everything, I use voice meter uh, for podcasting. I use it for streaming. Um, I'm using a voice me meter right now, right? And a background. So I wanted to make some changes to voice meter as well. So I'll scroll down all the way here, find voice meter. Okay. Right click on that. Under the application power profile, I set it to high performance. All right. And then that's it. All right. These are the only changes that I've made to the programs. I didn't make any changes to Discord. I know that uh, most of the issues that we have sometimes involve either Discord or maybe in game crackling. But since this program is making so many changes, um, well, wrong word, since this program is making so many adjustments real time, and it's automated, you don't have to do anything after that, right? So a couple other things that you could look at here are for the options, uh, the CPU, uh, it's pro balance set for me, uh, for the memory, I have it set to enable smart trim, which is a, a cool feature. And as far as the documentations on what these things do, I'm gonna have that in the description below. So I have it set, uh, I enabled smart trim. Okay, I wanted that. Uh, for power, I left everything here the same. And then that's it. So once you, once you reboot your machine, your machine should automatically load your profile of the settings that you've um, added for audio DG, or maybe you did changes to voice meter uh, banana. I use banana on a regular basis and that's it. So most of your challenges should go away after you make these changes. Uh, this is the automated process to make adjustments to AudioDG. And if you'd like to see more content like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.